Hi everyone, welcome to a day in my life as a chemistry PhD student. My day typically starts off at 7 a.m. when I wake up. I go to the shower, you know, wash my face, brush my teeth, freshen up, um, all of that good stuff. I have a shower as well and get ready for the day. Next thing I do is to pack lunch. I often take lunch with me to school because it's very convenient and it saves me money as well. So I have my lunch. I am filling up my water bottle here because I also take a bottle of water to school. I pack some snacks as well and yeah, most times I'm ready. Um, however, today was a cold day so I made myself a cup of tea as well. And here I am ready to head out. First order of business was going to pick up a package from the UPS store. However, I wasn't successful with that. Here I am expressing my disappointment. Anyway, I hopped on the bus and I headed to school. This is what campus looked like this morning. As you can see, it was quite cloudy, it had rained the night before. I finally made it to my lab. First thing I do is to drop off my food in the lab fridge and then I drop off all my liquids, my tea, my water, drop off my lunchbox as well. All of these things are not allowed inside the lab so they have to be outside. Here's what the lab looks like in the morning before people start to coming. At this point it's just a few minutes before 9am. I drop my bag off, settle down, um, you know, and just get ready for the day. My first course of business for today was going to check on a synthesis that had been running overnight as you can see it's all good and here i am very happy with the results because i hate coming in to see error messages this is what the um, other lab looks like as well next i went to analyze some data that i got from some experiments i had done the day before and i got carried away chatting with um, someone uh, first year I was basically talking with her about what my experience with certain classes where I was asking what her experience has been like so far because she's just joined the program in September and just giving some you know words of wisdom advice letting her know that everything is going to be well next I head to class at 10 15 um, class starts at 10 30 but the walk takes about five to seven minutes can we just take a moment to appreciate how pretty campus is in fall everything is so colorful i just really like fall it's my favorite season next i get to class i you know get to my seats settle down and wait for class here i am um about to bug my friend having her make her first camera appearance after class i have lunch at this point it's about 12 30. usually while having lunch i would just scroll on my phone you know check twitter check, check instagram but because i was filming on my phone i decided to respond to emails in this time after having lunch, I had to prepare for teaing. Um, for today, all I really had to do was to go get some ice. So I made my way to the ice machine in, I guess, the ice room. Is it really an ice room? Anyway, made my way to the ice machine and got some ice. This is what the organic chemistry teaching lab looks like, which is a class that I TA. I TA two sections and I have 10 students in each section. As an organic chemistry TA, my responsibilities include supervising the labs as well as grading lab reports. So I start off the lab by giving a brief pre-lab lecture, which basically goes over safety for that lab, um, most important things, an overview of what lab is going to be about. And the rest of the time, I'm 
primarily supervising the students, making sure that all is going well, answering any questions that they might have. Lab lasts until about 4.30 and at this point I go back to my own lab to look at my synthesis, um, same one that I checked earlier in the day. At this point it's done running and I'm cleaning out the machine. Now I have to clean out obviously because it's common courtesy. I'm not the only person who uses this machine in the lab. I need to make sure that all my vials are out. It's ready, good to go for the next person who has to use it, whoever that person is. So here I am just, you know, cleaning stuff out, doing more cleaning, now washing up, um, actual, actually washing up the things that I used. After this, I carefully labeled the product from my synthesis. Um, if you're a science student, you know the importance of carefully labeling stuff. So that's what I'm doing here. In my lab, we use uh, initials, the name of whatever you have, and then the date. I think um, the date and the name are the most important things. And well, your initials as well, so they know like who has what. Anyway, here I am just carefully um placing my label on this product here's what it says and here you can see me just writing my initials on the cap and the date as well Once the labeling is done, I pr place the product in the freezer, not the food freezer. This is just for chemicals and for products. And then I head home. At this point, it's about 5.30 or 5.45. Um, before heading home, I stopped by at the UPS office to attempt to pick up my package again. And this time I'm successful. Hi guys, um, it's now like 7.35 p.m. and I've just had dinner. I'm going to wrap up this video here. Um, I hope this video has given you some insight into what like a typical day in my life is like as a PhD student. Um, today I did like most of the things that I would do on a typical day. So I had classes, I had to TA and I um, also had to do a little bit of lab work. But yeah, if you liked it, please give me a like like just like this video leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye